بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد حبت في الله as we mentioned in our prior dars in our prior sitting about uh, purification we mentioned purification of two types and we said pure, purity is of two types the spiritual cleanliness and the habitual cleanliness and the spiritual cleanliness refers to wudu and purifying oneself from shirk the spiritual purification as we mentioned is a purification from shirk and this is why Allah Azza wa Jal says verily the mushrikeen are najisun that verily the mushrikeen, the pagans, are impure. And this is referring to spiritual impurity. Not that you can't shake their hands, not that this and that and the other, and, and having business ties and all the other ties that we have as human beings, but rather that their nudges comes from their spiritual impurity because they don't worship Allah Azza wa Jal alone. They associate partners with Him, Subhanahu. And the second type of uh, of purity, Ahabatifillah, refers to the purification from the major and minor ritual impurities. And this is the wudu, and this is uh, our tahara that we're concerned with, and what, we'll, and what the fuqaha, the scholars of fiqh and jurisprudence, which they focus on. That the, the purification of uh, preparedness for prayer. And from some of the merits of purification, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Indeed, Allah loves those who continually seek repentance and those who purify themselves. So Allah loves those people who make tawbah to Allah azza wa jal, purifying their soul, seeking that purification of the soul, the spiritual purification, as well as they purify themselves in body. And we're not just talking about uh, cleanliness that all of us should be concerned about, of, of hygiene, brushing our teeth, cleaning our bodies, uh, and, and so forth. But we're talking about the purity that accompanies Iman. And this is the purity of making wudu and the other types of tahara. And the Prophet wasallam said in Sahih Muslim, cleanliness is equal to half of Iman. So purification is a part of Iman. The Prophet wasallam said, uh, about the, the following verse which was uh, revealed concerning the people of Quba wherein are men who love to purify themselves and Allah loves those who purify themselves the Prophet ﷺ said they used to cleanse themselves with water meaning after uh, making istinja, you know, cleaning themselves, their private parts after using the restroom. And so this verse was revealed, and this is uh, related in Tirmidhi. The Prophet wasallam said, O Bilal, tell me the most promising deed you have done in Islam. For I heard the sound of your footsteps in Jannah. Bilal answered, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, I haven't done an act more hopeful to me than this. I've never performed wudu during the day or night except that I performed what I could of voluntary prayers after it. So he was on tahara constantly and he was constantly making rakat. The Prophet said, Shall I not inform you of a deed with which Allah effaces the sins, meaning he expiates the sins, and elevates one's rank? They replied, Yes, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Performing wudu in a complete manner, manner, even if it is difficult. Walking, walking towards the uh, the masajid and waiting for the prayer after observing one, waiting for the next prayer after observing one, and this is in Sahih Muslim. So, Habitifillah, look at the benefits of pure purification and tahara, and that uh, this is the miftah a salat, and. We will talk more, of course, about the importance of purification and purification itself and what we need to do as believers in Allah Jal to prepare ourselves for the prayer.